very proud of our group. Uh, uh, we've had, uh, in, in a lot of respects, we've had a tough year. We've, we've played some people tough, and it's got away from us in the fourth quarter. And uh, our group's been pretty resilient at the end of the year, and, and uh, I think they're getting better. And, uh, you know, there was times tonight that I looked up and we had two freshmen, a sophomore, and two juniors out there, and, and they were playing well. And um, I don't know what West Virginia got us by in Morgantown, but I think it was close to 30. And for our kids to believe that they could come in here and, and turn that around, uh, I give them a lot of credit. Very, very happy that our seniors could go out um, on their last game here on a winning note. And uh, uh, it was just a total team win. I thought Gentry Holt did very well coming off the bench for us. Uh, the two freshmen did a great job. Dee Dee Eccles hit some big shots. Ari Combs had some run throughs. And um, Die hit a big shot. At what they cut it to two, and she hits, kisses a shot off the glass. And then Carly Wheeler wants the ball at the end of the game. and and is seeking the ball and steps up and hits some free throws. So it's a good win. I thought we did a great job defensively. Um, we, uh, we had a ton of turnovers in Morgantown. We had 10 tonight. And we scored 23 off of their turnovers and beat them on second chance points. So in the stat category, we had a lot of big turnarounds. So I was proud of our group. It's a really good win for us. And uh, I believe we're getting better. You mentioned finishing in the fourth quarter. I think 11 of Kaylee's 16 came in that last frame. She mentioned that you maybe had some, some words for her entering. Just after. encouragement, man. Just encouragement. Just encouragement. <laughs> hey, you want to go score? <laughs> no, it, uh, we challenged her a little bit, you know, and, and said that uh, great players play in big games. They step up to the challenge, and uh, we challenged her and Mandy a little bit that you can be better than what you are. And, I felt like some of our other kids were carrying us, and and you know your your two better players need to step up with the game on the line. And uh, I thought they accepted the challenge in a positive fashion and, and made plays at the end. How was that for Di to hit that hit a shot like that on senior night and also her birthday? Oh, you know her her mom was here in a, a beautiful dress, and her family was here. And Di has been a good uh, representative of our basketball program, her family in Oklahoma State for four years. And to see kids have a, a positive experience like that is, is very rewarding. I know she's thrilled to death and uh, hit basically the game-winning bucket and have your birthday on senior night and get a win. It, it doesn't get much better than that. Same kind of thing with Caitlin. She didn't have a crazy like jump out of the stat book game, but she did a lot of Little things, what did you see from her? She got a steal down near the end of the game and, and kicked it out, and, and uh, it led to a bucket. And uh, Kate does a lot of things that don't show up in the scorebook, but uh, the way she defends and gets loose balls and, and leads, uh, uh, she's been a great kid for our program as well and, and uh, very proud of those two and, and uh, glad they could get a win on, on senior night. But, uh, you know, Kate does a lot of things that, that – you know, go unnoticed sometimes other than from a coach. You mentioned those 18 turnovers, 13 of those off of steals, you know, your guys being real aggressive. Was that sort of a thinking going against a high-powered offense for you to sort of be the, the aggressor on defense, or is this just a game where you guys were, were making good plays and, and having quick hands? Well, I think a lot of it, our coaches did a good job on the scout, and uh, we were in the right positions. Our rotations were pretty solid, and I believe that led to, to some of the steals. Um, I thought Ari Combs played with a high motor today, just a really, really high motor. And uh, the run-throughs and the finish with the left hand with that kind of speed, it was a nice place for a young player. And she did a really, really nice job on Tynese Martin. Was defense like the main difference between playing at West Virginia? Was that you know, I, I can't tell you that. We we got dominated in every phase of the game in Morgantown. I mean, they made 17 out of 29 threes. They, they beat us by about 20 on the boards. We turned it over 25, 26 times. It was a completely different ball club and a completely different team. So um, there wasn't much pretty in Morgantown. So 
I wouldn't I wouldn't say it's just one thing. I think I think our kids cleaned up their act and uh, played a pretty complete game tonight. What did West Virginia do these last couple of minutes? You guys had an eleven point game with about three minutes uh, at eleven point lead with about three minutes left, and they cut it down to two. What exactly did they do? to kind of stop your guys' uh, hot streak there, and what was your message to the team? Well, when it started, we were up by 10, and they came down and we didn't get matched up, which is inex it's un unexcusable at that point. And uh, I believe Party hit a three from the left wing, and we didn't have anybody in the neighborhood. And that's kind of what gave them the life and fueled some things at the end of the game. And then, we missed two or three pretty pretty easy shots that you got to make, and they kept coming down and, and hitting shots and being aggressive, and they've got good players. But what snowballed all that was we didn't get matched up, and they hit a three, and it cut it to seven, and then the floodgates started to open a little bit on that. But that's what started that mess. Three of four now, one game left, Big 12 tournament coming up. What do you think is the biggest difference these last two weeks compared to some of the struggles you had the, the rest of the way? Maybe growing up a little bit, maybe getting some young kids, some, some experience. Uh, um, more people getting involved offensively. For a long time, it was Kaylee and Mandy. Kaylee and Mandy and sometimes Carly would show up. And, and we'd have uh, the last two wins in here. Before this, we had uh, five people in double figures. And we had three tonight, and then you look up, you got some seven and six and six, and we weren't getting that three weeks ago. So some some other people stepping up and making a positive contribution. As a coaching staff, when you got a team as young as this one is, and you lose as many games as you did earlier, how have you handled this group? Right? What, have, what have you learned sort of about what you need to do with sort of this crew to, to put them in the position they're in now? You know, um, Patience and Jim Littell don't usually collide in the same sentence. So I've tried to be a little bit more patient and make sure that we're continuing to coach and get better each day. We've cut our practice time down quite a bit, trying to make sure that we've had fresh legs. But we've been trying to remain real, real positive with our group and, and, and tell them that, hey, if, if you keep doing these things, and be process oriented that, hey, here's what you got to do on a daily basis. You know, there's a new opportunity right here. And I believe our group's buying into it. Thank you, guys. Questions for student athletes? First of all, how does it feel to get a victory for your seniors? Really good. I'm really proud of how the way our team played to send our seniors off. We love them to death, so it was nice to end on a high note at home for them. Kaylee, I think you went into the fourth quarter with like five points and then it just exploded there at the end. Take us through kind of your mindset and what you saw out there. Well, at first, I don't know where my I don't know where I was at, but if I was just too excited for my teammates the way they were playing, or, I don't know. But um, I kind of got a reality check coming off the, um, back onto the bench. Coach was like, "What are you doing? Like, get your head in the game. We need you. Blah blah blah, stuff like that." And so I was like, you know what? So I just did what I could because I was like, why am I playing so crappy? So, but I turned it up a little bit as much as I could. And so that's been that. You guys were real aggressive today. 13 steals. I think you had uh, 23 points off 18 turnovers. Going against an offense like this, was that sort of the thinking coming in, be real aggressive, be attacking on defense? Um, I don't know if that was like the main focus, but I think just the – the intensity that we had just kind of led to those turnovers and stuff like that. And so we were working as hard as we could and being really efficient on defense. And it's just played into our hands really well. What was going through you guys' mind at the end? You guys were up 11 with like three minutes left. And West Virginia started to storm back. And you guys pulled it out. I mean, well, we knew the game wasn't over. But then again, we're like, we're going to get this win. We just have to keep pushing, keep pushing, and keep fighting as hard as we can to pull it out. Look, I don't know. Like, I mean, our main thing was get stops because we had slacked off a little bit on defense. So coach was like, you know, last quarter of the game, let's go and hook it up and get a stop and block them out because at one point they were – it was 12 and 2 on the boards or something like that. Mm -hmm. Carly's going to the line there. 
two different times uh, late in the game. What's kind of going through your head as you know those are you know big buckets for you guys late? Well, honestly, I was just like, well, don't foul her because she's going to make them. So I was, like, happy, and I was just more just enthused that she was able to get up there and confidently knock them down and just secure the win for us. It's been kind of a tough year for you guys. What have these seniors done to sort of carry a lot of these underclassmen through some of these these tough times, do you think? Well, mainly they've been good leaders, just trying to show them the way that the cowgirls do it and try and take people under their wing and, like, help them on defense because tonight our seniors had a really good defensive game and we're just trying to get our freshmen to get it at that level. You guys were in the locker room for a while. What, what was it like in there? Does the coach have a, a good speech for you? Or? There's a lot of, ah, yeah, yeah. Ah, woo -hoo, woo -hoo, I'm going to do it. Yeah. Um, Haley, what, was, what was, like, the difference from, like, the first half to the second half? Were they just packing the lane on you? I'm, I mean, a little bit, but every team kind of does. They kind of just realize that I'm the big girl. It's just double or it's easier or whatever. I don't know. So well, you just find an open girl. If you're getting double teamed, that's all I can do. I love shooting the outside shots. I don't get to do it a whole lot, and I get yelled at usually if I go out too much. But coach just said, you know, keep shooting your shot. I was like, okay, don't gotta tell me twice. So I love, I love shooting outside shots. Uh, with about 30 seconds left, you guys were up by two, and West Virginia was pressing you guys. They almost got a steal, and then Diana made a bank shot, mm -hmm. a clutch bank shot. What do you think about her making a clutch shot? At the end? You know, she's she, she well. right. Um, she stepped up tonight, huge for us. Um, defensively, offensively. So she just she had a great game tonight. Party, party for afterwards. <laughs> no, no <what>? parties. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, we never. No, no, we'll eat something together. We'll see. We'll get her some candy. <laughs> She likes a Reese's. What was like the difference between playing at West Virginia and playing here? Does it just feel better at home? Or? Uh, I think, yeah, some of it has to just do with we're more comfortable at home. I don't know if we can blame it on jet lag out there. I don't know. We just kind of don't play our best out there, but we hooked it up tonight and got this win for, for our seniors. You guys are winners of three or four straight now. you got to go to Iowa State. But the momentum you're building before the Big 12 tournament, is that sort of ideal considering some of the struggles earlier in the year? Mm, yes. Um, I think it since we were struggling so much right now, it's nice to just keep the momentum pushed in for this tournament so that we can get the best run that we can in the tournament. Thank you.